could be much worse. It could be with that stupid water demon that just kills you. How's my health, by the way? Eh, a few cuts and bruises. Wait, my sanity is crystal clear? Awesome. Asinine. A study or a guest room? I'm gonna say the study. Who put their key in a guest room? The answer was no, it was not another dream. Nah. The answer is no. Look, I'm gonna be real honest here. I really don't want to encounter another enemy. Voice crack. For a long time. What's in here? Nada. Looks like a storage room. One of the display cases was cracked. Well, I don't think it's going to be in here. looking for anyway. Looks like most of the candles are lit. I won't have to use my lamp. Um hmm. if I'm gonna like what I see. No one's here. The desk of scary apparel. Really? I got scared and I didn't even get a freaking key? Screw you, paperweight. Boring. Dumb legs. I'm pissed off. I wish I could just grab a gun and... Not do that. Let's see what you have to offer. What <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <sighs> 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 a mess. I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. That's, uh, not disturbing or anything. You know. Boring. Wait. I don't think this is boring. After a long, short study, is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in dumb. Induced stress, seems to trigger an response, causing an animal burst with energy. The catalyst produced in the brain is difficult to determine exactly what it is, but I can sense it. Risk cosmic genesis. Find this process of torture, enable the work to experiments before only human beings able to remove. 
Oh. Am I gonna have to cut this dog open to find the key? Can I cut you open with a chair? No. Dumb legs. Well, this room isn't exactly... You know... Is this? Yeah, it's not in the uh, creepy ass study where the guy tortured animals. That's eh, a safe assumption to say that's not where it is. Also, how the fuck can Oaniel just have these Randall flashbacks? It's probably in a journal entry somewhere that I'm too lazy to read. Ah, oh, sanctuary. Time to go in the creepy ass guest room. Trees. What's huh? Broken wine glasses, bottles. Oh, my dinner jacket again. La Biblia. What if that's how you kill the last boss? A crowbar. Picked up crowbar. Can I be Gordon Freeman? No, I can't. I can only be gay, which sucks. Second of July, eighteen thirty-nine. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Jump legs. Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Something tells me they didn't put a stop to them. Something tells me Daniel didn't see. Uh, hey, what's this? 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th. The day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, We covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Uh, that's a good question. I'm gonna say 
that's the real orb and the guy was just faking about it. You're really a broken lock, really? You think that's gonna stop me? Damn. Well, it was worth a shot. Uh, broken lock, broken lock. I've yet to check out this on the right. 